your Bibles, I want to be before you long, we have communion. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about what the Lord's Supper means. What the Lord's, what the Lord's Supper, Supper, Supper means. If you have your Bible, turn with me to 1 Corinthians chapter 11. And I'll be reading verses 23 down to 30. A familiar passage of scripture we usually read every communion. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, starting at verse 23. For I have received the Lord that which is also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. And after the same manner also he took the cup, when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he comes. Wherefore, whosoever should eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily should be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself. That's right. And so let him eat of this bread and drink of this cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily Eat it and drink it damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. Amen. Not discerning the Lord's body. The grass withers and the flower fades, but the word of our Lord shall stand forever. I saw a YouTube video or, or on social media um, not too long ago. There's a, a, a secular artist named Little Nas. Oh, yeah. And he made a mockery. Come on. Online Jesus. of the Lord's Supper. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Only later to try to come back and apologize. But how many know you reap what, 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 what you, you sow? sow? And when he made come that on. video, the, the, the amount of lights and hearts that went behind it shows me that we're living in a darkened and fallen world. Yes. Yes. I love my Lord yes, sir. with all my heart. With all my soul. And just as the world is maniacally trying to take themselves on a highway to hell, mm -hmm. I'm maniacally trying to lead my brothers and sisters of Christ on the narrow path to heaven. Come on, sir. How I many know why is the way that leads to destruction? Mm -hmm. And many thereof find it. Yes. But narrow is the way that narrow leads to way. life, and very few find it. So when you find yourself alone because of your serving the Lord, thank the Lord that you are on that narrow path. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, somebody. How many of you thank God that he has chosen you for that narrow path? Yes, sir. Right before us, we have our communion elements. Lord, I thank and we typically buy these communion elements with the little wafer and a juice cup. Yes. But some churches have what they call great goblets. Yes. Much more fancier than what we have here before you. Right. But how I many know it's not the utensils, the juice, or the bread that is important right. about the Lord's Supper. It's what they symbolize. <coughs> it symbolize the eternal commitment that God, through Jesus Christ, has made for us. Yes, Lord. So let's dig a little deeper into the symbols and meaning of this Lord's Supper, this communion. Right. First, let's talk about what these symbols have meaning for the Lord's Supper. Amen. Turn with me, keep your Bibles open. We will be staying on the first Corinthians. Verse 24 says it like this. And thank God I got my readers to my eyes. Right. Right. That's a whole thing back here nowadays. And when he had given thanks, he break it and said, Take eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance. Of me. Jesus made a strong commitment. He gave himself for you. He gave himself for me. How many know he gave himself for we? Come on. He offered up his body as a living sacrifice. So how many know we're supposed to offer our bodies as a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto the Lord, which is what? A reasonable. Service. Come Verse 25 on. says, And after the same manner, he also took cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye off, and as you drink it in remembrance of me. All right. 
Jesus did not die from natural causes. He was brutally executed in one of the most horrendous ways. His blood was spilled on the ground of they call Galgotha, and some call it the ground of Calvary. His life poured out his hands and his feet, and blood ran down from the wood to the ground. All right now. So we must let the Lord's Supper remind us of the living sacrifice our Lord and Savior did. Remember that Jesus gave himself. Come on. Remember he, the blood that he shed on that cross. Yes, sir. So That's today right. as we take this bread and we drink this cup, yeah. we will do this in remembrance of what he did oh, for God. me. Living, That's right, sir. he loved me. He loved me. Yeah. Dying, he saved yes, me. Buried, he carried my sins Sin. far away. But why did he roll? Roll. How many of y'all believe he rose? Why did he justify? Bring me forever. One day. One day. Like Sister said, this may be the last time we worship the Lord. So when I enter into this gate with, when I enter this courtroom with, I will lift up my voice. I will lift up my hand because God has been too good to me. Yes, sir. Amen. We are beneficiaries of what he did on the cross. Yeah. Verse 24 says, for you, you. Jesus didn't die without a purpose. Yeah. As he went to the cross, he thought about you. you. As he was nailed to that old rugged cross, Come he on. did it with you in mind. On a hill, yes. far away. Yeah. Stood that old rugged, rugged cross. Oh, wow. The emblems of suffering and shame. So I cling yes, to the old rugged cross. And one day I'm going to turn it in for a crown. Yes. Hallelujah, somebody. One day I'm going to exchange it for a crown. Yes, yes, Lord. As he hung on that cross, people <laughs> mocked him. They mocked him then and they are still mocking him today. How many of your neighbors are probably looking at this? They go to church every Sunday. Come on. That's the truth. They're still waiting for this pie from the sky. Yes, this so called man. How many know he's real? Real. How many know Jesus is real? He's real yeah. to me. How many know I'm a living testimony? He brought me a mighty long yeah. way. I should not be standing yeah. before you because God. Yes, sir. God has brought me a mighty long way. He's brought you a mighty long way. So when I have the hands and the ability, I will lift up my hand to the hill from what's coming. My help, my help coming. My help coming from. Yes, sir. No, it comes from the ravens. No, no, no. Come on, yeah. It's coming from the superman. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. 
We need to let the Lord Supper remind us what he did for us on that cross. Yes. Now, if you're ready to take the Lord's Supper, remember what it means for you. Yes. Remember that man Jesus died on a hill. Yes. Remember that man Jesus stretched out his hands. Yes. Remember that man Jesus as he hung in torment. Hallelujah. Remember he did it for you. Yes, Lord. For God so loved the world. world that he gave that whosoever yeah. shall believe shall what? Everlasting life. Not her, but have everlasting life. Everlasting life. Yeah. Preaching good. Remember that you receive the benefits of the body from that blood. Yeah. By the blood of the lamb you have been cleansed. Cleaned. What? Been. Been washed. Yeah. Away by sin. Nothing, nothing, nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is that flow that makes me quiet. Jesus Christ. 
And when we take the Lord's Supper, we are doing this together, signifying our unity is not by family name or mama or daddy's name. Good. We are unified under the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. There should be no schisms, which means division among us. The devil is the author of confusion. That's what he is. In any situation you have in your life, if there is confusion, you know who the author is. And we should not have any schisms within the body of Christ. We are unified as the family of God. And as you take this bread and cup, remember that we are the family of God. How many of y'all thank God that you are the family of God? Amen. How many of y'all thank you that you are part of the family of God? Yeah. The Lord's Supper is not to be played with. I pray for little Nas X. Right. That while he has breath in that body, he can repent and say, what must I do to be saved? How many know God has love for him? Yes. God has love for you. Many of us have done just enough sin in this last week. Yeah. I'll pray right, God. Lord, help us. I'm talking to you. So you have your angel wings tucked down behind your nice church. Well. You got your halo in your lap. Oh, they don't do nothing wrong. I'm the cat's meow. Yeah. That's right. And the dog. And the dog's meow. <laughs> Me? You see this black suit I wear? Yeah. Come on. I want the seminary. Come on, man. Come on. Me? Yeah, me. What you see before you is a dirt. Dirt. Man. You know what? Be sure you're honest. Lord have mercy. And every morning when I open my eyes, I right. say, forgive me. Forgive me. Sins of omission, omission and commission. Come on here, sir. Yeah, some of us say, well, if I don't look at young kids and get all bent, I'll say, I used that's to. Right. But God has to say, me? look where you came from. That's right. The enemy. The problem is, you can't do it no more because you're a little bit too old. <laughs> yeah. You put the tape on my mouth. The truth hurts. The truth hurts. <laughs> Let me put the tape on my mouth, man. <laughs> but how do you know God knows your heart? Yeah. You can fool me sometimes, but you can never fool God. Yeah. Ask yourself this question How is my relationship with Christ? Is He truly the Lord of your life? Oh, Jesus. God said, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. So when we think about that, all the time we think about idols, a, a Buddha statue, or, or something, or, or Confucianism, or whatever you want to worship. We think about that stuff. An idol is anything you put before God. I can't put my door before God. And I love my door. Jesus more. And when I put Jesus in his right place, yes, Lord. he will bless my daughter. Yes. Yes. Come on, man. Yes. We can't put your husbands or your wife. We can't put anything before Jesus. Yes. I had a friend of mine who was talking about the Super Bowl or the what? How many know Baltimore was really hurt when the Ravens lost? Yeah. Some folks went on a fast. Because they couldn't eat. Because their stomachs were so upset that Lamar couldn't get us into the Super Bowl. Come on. I have a good friend of mine. We uh -huh. talked about the game. Uh -huh. And I played Pee Wee football, high school football, a few years of college football. So I know football. Uh -huh. And we talked about the game. He says, Man, you know what you're talking about. Really? He says, you in church on Sunday. You don't watch football. Okay. Yes, Lord. He Come called me. I was in church. And I don't know football because I'm in church on Sunday. <laughs> and I laughed. And I said, well, I am in church on Sunday. And I, I didn't, and I left it there. And then I said, I should have said this. It should have been my comeback. 
Yes, Lord. I worship the my God mm -hmm. on Sundays. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're worshiping your God on Sunday. Come on. Because my God <coughs> just apply all my needs all right. according to uh -huh. his yeah. riches yeah. and glory. Yeah. So if we examine ourselves, make sure we have no unforgiveness in our hearts. That's it. That's right. Saturday, but I'm in church on Sunday. All right. And I know you called me to be more than a seat in the pew. You called me to a work. Now, I don't know what you called me to, but you pulled at my heart. Mm -hmm. And that's when I said, Lord, have thy own way. Yeah. All right. That night I had a dream. I was uh -huh. standing on a bridge. On a wood, on an old cobble bridge in mm -hmm. Jerusalem. And I looked down, and Jesus was carrying a cross. And I remember looking down like, for me, you did this for me. Come on. And I woke up with tears in my eyes and I said, for me. Then that weekend I get locked up. Um, <laughs> right. Okay, go. No. No. 
at this stupid in Baltimore City. Get locked up. And I'm sitting in city jail. All right. Uh huh. Uh huh. And I'm watching guys wash their socks in the toilet and all of this. Eating horrible eggs. And I'm like, life was a big. That's right. That's your portion. I sound better than them. Right. I know what you're saying. Right. Thanks for being here. Uh-uh. And I got released on the call. I had to go to court and all that. Praise the Lord. And I was in, I used to be a security guard for Bank of America. Mm-hmm. And every week, every Monday, this little short man with really pretty hair, like Mr. Branch's hair, he was asking him to yours. He would always come in and deposit, and we would talk, and I didn't know who he was. Mm-hmm. We would talk, they would be just chopping up every Monday. They know who he was. Do I go into court? And guess who was my judge? He was. He was. He was. Wow. See that? Look wow. at God. And my dad is with me. And my dad, like, won't you ever do this again? I raised you better than this. That's right. That's right. So I'm standing there, and the judge looks at me, and we make eye contact, but no one else in court knows why we look at each other like. And the prosecution come up and says, he did this and this, we're going to give him this probation and conviction. See, they were trying to lay me out. And I ain't never done nothing before. Nothing, that's right. And the judge said, I heard up. Yo, man, what's your problem? Your Honor, being stupid. Mm-hmm. And he says, case dismissed. A year later, I'm hired as an auditor and investigator for the Brown State Department of Public Safety. Come on. They had to go to all the prisons and do audits. A year later, I go to the same jail and I stop on a tour at the cell. I was the head guy. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Change your life. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a hand of praise. 